Welcome to the Scandinavian wilderness and an autumn hiking trip to Florana's nature reserve. So we are in uh, Florana's nature reserve and uh, we're gonna go out uh, for a one night trip and stay in one of the cabins that they have in the area. And the first impression is that uh, this place really has some uh, great potential. We started our hike early in the morning, with the temperature hovering just above freezing. In late September the days can still be quite warm, and as the sun began to rise, you could literally see how its energy warmed the ground. The tree trunks facing the sun were steaming from the heat of the sun's rays. It was a very pleasant sight, and a perfect way to begin our hike. Florana is a beautiful area, ideal for anyone looking to explore the mires. The trails are equipped with long duckboards that takes you across the wetlands, the longest stretching 500 meters. But the landscape here is diverse. Along with the mires, there are also lush forests to wander through. The reserve feels secluded, giving it a wild, untouched atmosphere. However, it's also a well-known spot, so don't expect complete solitude. Florana is popular in winter too, offering great opportunities for skiing. The birds and animals were mostly silent and the wind was still. The dominant sound we heard during most of our hike or the squeaking noise of my hiking buddy's boots. But it is said that Florana is home to a variety of wildlife, with the most elusive being the lynx. While the chances of spotting one are slim, just knowing you're in lynx territory adds to the excitement. So we have arrived at uh, the place that I think is called uh, Stor Moon, and now we're heading towards uh, the trails that leads us leads us to the cabins, and I think that we're aiming for the first cabin, Gamelo Koyan.
we made it to the cabin now and uh, we're happy to see that it is uh, not already occupied by someone else. So these cabins are not bookable, so it's a first come, first served basis. So now we're just gonna get uh, comfy in the ca cabin and uh, then just enjoy the rest of the day. Gammelåkojan is one out of five cabins in Florana that are free for visitors to use, whether for a break or for those wishing to spend the night in the nature reserve. The cabin is cozy, best suited for two people, though you could squeeze in a third if needed. A big part of cabin life is preparing firewood. It's great that these places provide firewood for visitors, but the supply was running low when we arrived. We tried to leave as much of the prepared wood for others as we could, and instead chopped our own for the night. It's a great activity to keep one occupied, and the work you put in comes with a clear reward. We've been spending uh, quite some time in the cabin now, but uh, we need to go out for a while and uh, enjoy the sunset. The cabin is uh, not big, but uh, it's really cozy in here and uh, the fireplace is really heating up the cabin very fast. It would be quite nice to uh, stay a night in this cabin during winter.
We've been having a nice night in the cabin. I really like this place and I think that uh, Florana is a place where I will uh, return and maybe explore some uh, of the other cabins that they have here. But uh, that's it for this time. But until next time, goodbye. Please like and subscribe to not miss out on any Scandinavian wilderness.